What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie. Welcome to another episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Trendy, the show where we try out new, strange, and innovative products. Today, we are testing out this at-home facial steamer. I got this bad boy off of Amazon.com. I've been wanting to purchase one of these for a while. I've had a handful of spa facials in my life, and I feel like steam holds a very major role in those kind of facials, so I thought, why not try it out at home? There are a lot of benefits to steam, which I will speak about in a minute. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the steamer down. I have a little table right here, and in a second, I'll move the camera down. But I did wanna talk about a few of the benefits of steam. So the biggest thing that steam can do is open up your pores. So if you have dirt, bacteria, dead skin cells, uh, steam can really open up your pores and those things can be removed. It can also really help any treatment that you use really seep into your skin. So if you are trying to clean out all those things like using a Glam Glow mask, the mud mask that really draws out that sebum and all that stuff, it can actually help that process along if you steam before. Also, if your skin is very dehydrated or very dry and you wanna use a moisturizing mask, it can open up your pores to receive any kind of treatment better. It also can remove toxins because when you sweat, your skin releases toxins along those lines. It can help with acne because you're opening up your pores. So I think steam is really good for any skin type from dry to oily, steam can really help out your skin. And again, that's why steam is such like a pivotal part of any like spa facial that you go to. So yeah, I've been wanting to buy one, like I said, for a long time at home. I found this one on Amazon. I pretty much just shopped around on Amazon and found one that had fairly good reviews. So this one is called K Skin. I believe it was very reasonably priced. I did buy this out a while ago and I didn't try it out yet because I wanted to try it out on camera, but it's a very simple kind of little device here. We have a little water pod in the back that I've already filled. Uh, this is the area that you put your face near. You don't want to put it right up in there, but kind of away from there, but this is where the steam is coming out of. And then we have the on and off button. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and move the camera a bit. It's already starting to come out. Wow, that was only a few seconds, maybe like 30 seconds and now it's starting to come out. Ooh, okay. At the beginning, it kind of smelled like plastic, I'm not gonna lie, because I actually looked in the instructions to see if I had to let it run a little bit before my first use. Um, but didn't say anything anywhere about that, but now I feel like it doesn't have that smell anymore. That was a little weird though. But in general, this feels pretty amazing. <laughs> it's really funny for me to talk through the steam to you. Oh my God, this does feel really nice. This is super relaxing right now. And also breathing it in. I wanted to get like a humidifier near my bed because LA can be so dry. What if I just, I can just plug this in next to my bed and just breathe it in. In the instructions it says that you should do this for about eight minutes is a good amount of time to steam your face. And lately I haven't been getting that much sleep at all and when that happens, my makeup just sits on top of my skin and it looks just really weird. It like looks very separated. It doesn't look like my skin. It just looks like it's sitting on top of it. And I feel like when my skin is more moisturized and I add more moisture to it, that's when it can really absorb, not absorb the makeup, but just have the makeup sit correctly. I'm sure if anyone out there who wears foundation or concealer or anything totally knows what I'm talking about. When you don't get enough sleep, your skin just doesn't react the same uh, to makeup. So I'm gonna be doing this and then I'm gonna be putting on this moisturizing mask from Kiehl's. This is the Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. And then I'm gonna put my makeup on to just see how that feels. Cause sometimes I'll put on a mask like this before putting on my makeup if I haven't had a lot of sleep. And I don't know if it really makes a huge difference, but maybe the steam will allow this mask to really absorb into my skin and then allow the makeup to sit on there correctly. Honestly though, this feels incredible. It feels like I really have created my own like at-home spa right now. Ugh. Woo! All right, I'm gonna turn this off. It's still going strong. 
A lot of the water has left though, so let's just turn this off. That felt so good. My skin feels awesome right now. I have um, a damp towel right here. It's gonna wipe my skin. Cause I feel like, like I said, it opens up your pores really well. So maybe if there's any sebum or anything that wants to come out, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my hydrating mask. All right. So like I said, this is the Kiehl's Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. This is for all skin types. Let's move this little baby out of the way. It's kind of like a jelly looking mask. Like that, it's very sheer. And there's little calendula flowers just in it. So let's just put that on. Hmm. Mask is gone. This is the kind of mask I just leave on for like five minutes. And the reason why I wanted to do a mask right after this is because in reality, I would never just use this facial steamer and not do something afterwards. For me, this is the kind of like a thing that I would use before any kind of treatment to make the treatment even better and even more effective for me. So that's why I went ahead and put the mask on straight away. I think that you could also, you know, just steam your face and then go ahead and put on your skincare or whatever you wanna put on. That's perfectly fine too. But for me personally, if I'm gonna whip this thing out, it's gonna be before a mask, which I do at least a couple of masks a week. Sometimes I do less, sometimes I do more. It really just depends on what my schedule is like. But for me to add this little thing into it, it is pretty nice. It feels very relaxing. And like I said, in LA, it's very, very dry. And actually just breathing in that steam felt really nice. By like one minute into it, it didn't smell like plastic anymore. I probably should have let it run anyways. That was my bad. And there was nothing in the instructions that said that I needed to let it run before for a little while, but that just, it's just common sense, you know? It makes sense just to let it kind of run and then put your face into it, not just do it right away. I feel like I covered a lot of the benefits of steam that applies to me, but also online I read that steam is really great for anti-aging as well. If you're dealing with some age lines, some wrinkles, steam just really helps plump your skin and add hydration. So if that's something that you're interested in, perhaps this could work for you. I feel like just in general, it seems like steam is really good for your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead, leave this mask on, and then in just a couple minutes, I'll take it off and I'll show you how my skin is and how it feels. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my makeup and see how that feels as well. Just took off the mask and my skin is feeling plump right now. I really hope this lasts all day. I hope it affects my makeup positively because if it does, I'm gonna be using this all the time. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead, put off my makeup right now, and then I will check back in. Makeup is on today. I decided to do some freckles using a product called Freck, which I did a good, bad, trendy on last week or the week before. I'll make sure to link it. I love it. Today, I'm not so sure how I did it. I feel like I did it well. I haven't put it on since that video, but I decided just to do a little bit right here. And hopefully it's not that uniform, but I just think it's so freaking cute. Anyways, my makeup went on my skin really nicely, so smoothly, no splotchiness. I mean, the Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is my NARS concealer that I use all the time, typically goes on my skin really well, but when I haven't gotten that much sleep, it will go on a little bit strange, but it feels really nice right now. My skin feels very smooth. So I am about to go out to three events tonight. So I will make sure to check back in with you. If I don't check in by tonight, because the third event starts at 10 p.m., which is kind of crazy. But if I don't check back in with you tonight, I will definitely check back in the morning. Hi everyone, it is the morning after. I didn't really get any clips of last night because I ended up just going out, getting a few drinks and coming back pretty late. So you know how that goes. But last night I was really feeling myself. I felt like my skin looked really amazing after I like turned off the camera. I put on some Frank Ocean to put on my clothes for the evening and I was feeling really, really good, feeling my best self. So I feel like this is the kind of thing that you need to continually use. Like I'm definitely 
going to use this every time before I put on a mask now just to try out how effective I feel like it is. I really want to try this out with like the Glam Glow mask or any mud mask that might draw out impurities because I feel like it could really help assist with that. My skin looked really nice last night, like immediately upon application. The makeup just went on really smoothly, really nicely. It was like I had a full night of sleep. And when I came home later, it pretty much looked exactly the same, maybe a little bit more of a glow because you know I'd been out and about and sweating a bit, but it looked really nice, didn't break up at all. I'm just gonna continue using this. I feel like this is a tool that I already knew was never going to like harm my skincare routine. It was just going to add to it. If I can get similar like skin results as spending a day at the spa, I am super into it. So I think y'all already know, I think this item is good. All right, y'all, that is it for this episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Trendy. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.